watching official Dre live. Man, what's going on, y'all, bro? It's official Dre live. And as y'all can see, bro, if you want to know how to make one of the best Playmaker 6 7 builds for just playing around at the park, this is strictly for playing around. This is not a take it serious build. If you get the build to 99, if you hit legend, it's just a play around build. Like the video in five seconds, man. I'm going to give you some time on that, Jam. Hold on. All right, so you better add like. But anyway, bro, let's get into this video. You feel me? All right, so first, you feel me? You know, I make point guards. I'm a guard. I make point guard. I make left-handed players, and I wear 12. Oh, all right. Now, this is once again a play around build for the park. And I wouldn't make this build unless you know you're going to hit 99. Unless you know you're gonna hit legend, unless you, or unless you just like playing around. Um, and you'll be able to hit your shots. I tested this build in the um, the My Player Builder. Well, um, the little game, the little pregame that y'all play. I tested the build. It's actually fairly nice. It just can't shoot free throws. And you'll see how I make it is why it can't shoot free throws. So me, I picked the speed and vertical pie chart. Best pie chart in the world to me. I do not care what anybody says. Now I gotta look at it. All right, so what you wanna do? You wanna max this out, all right? You feel me? You wanna max this out, you wanna max this out. So you get six of those. Okay. Max this, max this. You need, you need those max, so you get six. You get six of these each in categories. This build can shoot. You can shoot with six shooting badges. You just need to equip them the right way. Max playmaker. Two on this, so you get 30 playmaker. Right? Right? And then for defense, you know on defense, bro, you max this out. You just max all out. Max out all of it. I'm gonna actually move my head, bro. I'm gonna move my head. So y'all can see. Oh, all right. So you max these out. You should get nine of those. Or, for real, for real, if you want 10, do it like this. So you'll get six, six, 30, and 10. Once again, this is a play around build. You take this build to the park if you want to play around. Or, when they patch it or when they fix uh, ankle breakers, if you want to get ankle breakers. If you want the build to be deadly, this is how we make it deadly. Me, I don't care about any body type. I normally go with, with Big Burly, max weight. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go built. You feel me? I'm going to make them 6'7". A play around build that is 6'7". Now you would think, wait a minute, he's not going to be able to dribble. He's not going to be as fast. Don't worry about all that. I'm gonna lower the weight to the minimum. Minimum weight, we do not care about weight. And then lower his arm. As you can see, you get 86 ball handle. You get great defense. You can drive. Your mid range is an 80 and your three point is a 74. It's not, this is not a build that can do it all because if you try to take this build to rack, he can't shoot free throws. I don't know why you ever post up on this build, but your build can definitely drive and play make and play defense. Now, if you were to get the build to 99, you're looking at an 85-3 and a 79 uh, three-pointer, standard three-point, plus boost, plus takeover, plus if your friends have a floor general uh, hall of fame, you're looking at all of that. So the build can once again be deadly if used properly me i picked shot creator here's why i picked shot creator because playmaking as of right now is broken so you can't really get ankle breakers if you activate your takeover nothing really is going to happen whereas if you get shot creator takeover and you you feel me you bust a move on them and you create some space you can you can hit your you can hit your whites especially if you learn how to shoot with the shot meter so testing this build, I'm about to show y'all which badges to put on because it is not hard at all. For this, for your finishing, 
okay? All right, it is not hard. Or, to be honest, I be using this on bronze because I only get one bronze, but if y'all want to do it like this, or, or do it like this, or this, either way, definitely, I would use Pro Touch, definitely. Right, now for your six shooting now, you would think like, dang, you won't really be able to shoot. Well, when you think about it, in shooting, it's all about timing. And it's all about when you get the ball and how you release the ball. So, for me, I would have it like this. Honestly, because these are the two best badges in the game. And you'll be able to get hot spots on your player. But you only get six, so you will have to spread them out. So I'll put this on bronze. I will always keep this go. But then I will put this on. Because catch and shoot, normally I'm the two guard, so I get put in catch and shoot uh, situations. Or I will have this, bam, corner or clutch shooter because it's, it's going to be tough to shoot until you get all your badges. Right, but this build is made for being a team player and wanting to play around at the park with your friends. So this is how I would have it set up. Going back to the original, I would have it set up like this. Now, if you hit legend on this, you get 10 more. You get 10 on both of these, so that's 16, 40, 20. Now that sounds dead, but you gotta hit legend for that. For me, this is a team build, a team playing build. Tear them up. You gotta tear. You have to tear them up. It's mandatory that you tear them up. Now this, once again. If you have this match, you'll be able to see your teammates' shot percentage, your own shot percentage, and you'll be able to boost your teammates on their shots every time. When you pass them the ball, they have a higher chance of graining, and you'll be able to dribble the whole shot clock out. Unpluckable doesn't really work, so I would put that on silver. Tight handles, hopefully. I heard stop and go is now working. Ankle breakers don't work right now. This is why I would not make this build unless you are prepared to just play around or until they patch playmakers in order, you know, so you can dribble. That's how I would do it. And then some people sleep on it. You feel me? Some people are asleep on downhill. Now, downhill is a actually really good badge. Not going to lie to you. It's a really good badge. So, especially in transitions, you're trying to be the fastest player. You're already the fastest, or one of the fastest. You'll just be even faster in transition. See, I would take this build to wreck, but then again, you wouldn't have no free throw. So, is it really worth it, you know? And then with your 10 defensive, man, you got to go gold clamps. Because clamps actually works this year. And I've been seeing um, massive improvements with my defense using this badge. I would go gold or silver intimidator because the badge works. They reworked it. It works. Interceptor. You need interceptor because with this build, you will notice yourself playing in the passing lanes more often than not. At point guard, you're going to need pick dodger because you're, you got to fight over the screens. You got to. If you're playing the twos on this build, you got to fight over the screens. Right, so you would need this. Or you would have this silver and then have pit pocket like this. You will have your setup just like this. Or have it like to where you just all around. You feel me? Me, I personally use this one with my 10 defensive badges. Because if they get past me, I can catch them. If I meet them at the rim, it's most likely a block. I can pluck them, I can get over screens, I can intimidate the player, and or I, if I lose the ball, I can play the passing lanes and get the ball back, right? And that is basically kind of the full build. Using your jump shot, it depends on you, honestly, with your jump shot and how you will use it and how you will use this character to play around at the park, because this is definitely a park build if you are definitely a park player. Now you would think the build is trash, but you gotta really grind the build. If you don't feel like grinding my career or playing rack or playing park to get this build to its full potential, then this build is not for you. But anyway, man, me, I would use Kevin Love because that's an easy jump shot at the time. I would go against some poop team just to really test out the build. You will most likely be the point guard of any team 
you're six, seven, you're fast, you're, you know, you're capable of doing more than just the average guard. And you have the height advantage. So think about all of that combined with 30 playmaking badges. I wouldn't, I, me personally, I would not make this build until playmakers are patched and fixed to where they can get ankle breakers and make plays and, and be able to use their momentum crosses and combos to really finish their clip. And then with shot creator takeover, you can easily get the shot creator takeover in like three or four possessions from you being a playmaker. And that's the benefit of having 30 defensive badges. I mean, 30 playmaking badges. So it's up to you if you want to make the build, bruh. This is how you really make the build out. One of the greatest builds, you feel me? One of the greatest builds. I had one with playmaker take and the, um, the my builder play the game. It was awful. It was so bad. But shot creator, I really was hitting my shots and everything. Just using those two badges, the um, gold ranger standard, gold high zone hunter. And I don't even have high zones on in the in the builder. So you can test it out, play around with the build and everything. You see. You see, I'm trying to get my I'm trying to get my working right. But anyway, man. Until next time, bro. Like the video. Share with your friends if you're new. You know, follow us at Sad Boy Days Entertainment. You know, on the grind to a thousand followers on Sad Boy Days. On the grind to a thousand on YouTube, man. Thank you all for stopping by. And of course, you know the screen's gonna go black. Video on the screen. Go check that out. You feel me? And until next time, bro. Peace.